Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video. Quite possibly my all-time favorite video to make every single year, the Fall Winter 2023 catalog walkthrough. So you guys, I only have positive things to say about this catalog really. I mean, aside from a few of these scents that were discontinued, which let me just disclaim here, this is kind of just like my initial reactions. This is only my second time going through like end to end the entire catalog. Um, I couldn't resist. I did it on my own. Connor and I looked at it together, but this is my only my second time looking at the whole thing. So I don't have like my notes out in front of me for like what was discontinued, what didn't come back. So I'm going to be making a completely separate video for that, which will be probably like called like disc what didn't make the cut or discontinued, um, whatever. I don't know. It'll be something like that. Um, and then I also will make a Sensi Club edit because there are a few things in my Sensi Club that did not make the cut um, and didn't come back. So I want to I want to film that separately as well. And then. Yes, I think that's it. I will also do a harvest collection walkthrough um, right after this video. So that will be uploaded, you know, pretty shortly after I upload this video. So how many times am I going to say video? And so and uh, okay, <laughs> let's just jump right in. So first things first, I mean, just stunning, right? I mean, how many of you would want to be just cuddled up right there on that couch with that really like nice cozy blanket? I mean, me 110%. That warmer right there, is a beaut. I almost bought the um, new, the home sales kit, The home, I think it's called home sales kit for the new season, just because of how much I loved that warmer. There were other ones in it that I liked as well, and I probably will pick up, but there were two that I was just not super like in love with. Three out of the five I was, two I was just like, eh, you know, I could take it or leave it, so I didn't want to pick it up just for three out of the five much rather just wait and get the three that I absolutely want. So enough about the first page, let's move on. So bear with me as I'm zooming in and out because I'm on my iPad, so sometimes things don't really fit super well together. Anyway, here's the front page. You can see a few like sneak peeks of some items. We have the cheetah wall fan, or no, not wall, cheetah tabletop diffuser. Um, and then we also have, uh, or mini fan diffuser, I think is what it's called. We also have a little French um, French Bulldog, I think is what that is in the back, that buddy. So exciting, okay. Um, here is the Charitable Cause Warmer. I love that they decided to do, it comes with four different bulbs. So it comes with a clear bulb, which all warmers do, blue, red, and purple. Um, so excited, I think it's adorable. I think that white on white warmers and that's kind of what they tend to do for the or have at least in the past two seasons for the um charitable cause warmer i think it's because they sell really well the white on white warmers like i have not met a single person that doesn't love like the way that those look they're just like super aesthetically pleasing and they go with basically any decor so that's what's here on this page and the cool thing i mean i didn't even mention this but this is about this is for like um, adoption and foster care. So I think that is a super, super awesome cause. I am definitely inclined to pick this warmer up, this charitable cause warmer. So excited to see that. Um, got a little note about the Whiff Box, Sensi Club, all of those fun things. And here it is, this stunning warmer, the Forest Light Warmer. This is obviously brand new, $65.00. Nine and a half inches tall, 25 watts. This reminds me a lot of the December warmer of the month, but just slightly different. Um, really, all things considered, they're very, very similar. They look to be like about the same dimensions and that like gold with white brush over top, which has been a popular warmer style. We had like the um, Light Your Way warmer, which was the April warmer of the month. We had the December warmer of the month that was like that, the Coastal Light warmer that came out new this year. So that's definitely a, a style that they're kind of leaning into, which I love. Um, I think this is going to just be absolutely stunning. You can kind of see on the left side of the screen where it is, you know, projecting the light onto the wall. Yeah, this will be a pickup on the first of the month for sure. 
very, very excited to, to snag that. Um, cotton cleanups still available for $10 pack of 25. I will say Connor and I have almost completely migrated to the pop out method. So um, taking we have the little Scentsy spatulas, which if you're a consultant, you can grab them on your workstation. If you're not a consultant, but you want them, message your consultant and ask if she could or they could, um, you know, send you one or two or throw one in like a happy mail for you or something like that because they're they're pretty great. So we do that and we, yeah, don't go through cotton cleanups anymore. Um, very rarely do I use a cotton cleanup. It's just a little bit of a cleaner method. Um, like it's much harder to make a mess because the wax is obviously solidified. The other thing that I like about it is I don't have to throw away like six cotton cleanups every day or two, which is, I don't know, kind of nice. Okay, enough about cotton cleanups. So we have two new warmers on the left side. Pond's Edge, which is a mini warmer. I think that's super cute, especially if you have like a lake. It gives me like lake house vibes. Same with the Mallard warmer even. Um, that is just, I mean, honestly, that is like really pretty stunning. The painting of it, I, yeah, I think it's beautiful. It's just not necessarily something that would like fit in with my decor personally. But that's fifty dollars, and then the Pond's Edge Mini Warmer, just as normal, is fifth as twenty five. They all Mini Warmers basically are fifteen watts. Um, this is a glass Mini Warmer. I always like to make the disclaimer that personally, in my home, ceramic Mini Warmers perform like ten times better than the glass Mini Warmers. The glass Mini Warmers, I have had trouble in the past with them not melting all the way to the corners. They just don't get as hot. Um, I mean, obviously they're beautiful, but they're just not quite as good performers. So no new other warmers on this page. Of course, the shining light, I always like to throw in like an honorable mention for that. That's a fantastic warmer. Even the wherever I'm with you, this little guy right here, I love that warmer. It performs really well. It's one of my best performing element warmers I've ever had. Okay, I don't think anything new on this page. We got all that kind of like farmhouse sort of vibe there. Okay, over on the left, Golden Meadow. This is available for $45. This is brand new. Again, very like white and gold, white on white and the gold like kind of brushed detail is what we're seeing here. I think this is stunning. This is probably coming home to me. I think that the this and the Forest Light Warmer, first of all, are gonna go super well together. You know how I feel about pairing warmers together and making kind of like a, a scene, I guess you could say. But I also think that they are all year round warmers. Definitely to me, they might lean like slightly more fall winter um, with like the leaves and everything on them and the trees, but I think they're totally good for both um, or for all year, right? Both times a year. I mean, like spring, summer, fall, winter, all year. I think they're great. Nothing else new on this page. Okay, we got another new little one over here, this Sedona Mini Warmer. I know I just said something about glass mini warmers and how they don't perform really well, yada, yada, yada. I will be picking this up. I actually, and I doubt my sister is watching this video. She watches a lot of my videos, but um, she doesn't usually watch like the walkthrough videos because anything that she needs to know, I'll just tell her. Anyway, I am already planning on picking this up for her. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to wait until um, her birthday, even though it's like her birthday's in the middle of September. But I, to me, this just screams her. I, I got to get it for her. I, and honestly, I think I will probably pick up two and keep one for myself because I absolutely love it. Super, super cute. Okay. Yep. So all of the like succulent green vibes on this page. Oh my gosh, guys, the, it, it, and I want to hear you, your thoughts as well. Like, are you just super excited about the new warmers? I feel like last spring, summer and last fall, winter, I was like very pleasantly surprised. There was a lot of really awesome new warmers. This spring, summer, personally, I, I didn't have a ton that like called out to me. I actually think that out of the new warmers, the only one that like I was like I have to have that I did pick up the flamingo warmer as well but the one that I had to have 
was the coastal light warmer the rest were just very I mean they're all beautiful obviously but like didn't really speak to me but this catalog every single new warmer honestly aside from maybe like the duck the mallard because just again not super into my decor but all of these other ones I'm just blown away by this is stunning I will probably be picking this up maybe not in my very first order but I will be picking this up I'm sure um it is the Verve Warmer, 25 watts, $65, so it's a little bit pricier. But if you read down here on the bottom, it shows about how it's made. Um, and so basically it's like different beads of glass that are obviously like different colors, and then it's um, hand blown. I think it's stunning. It reminds me a lot of the In the Clouds Warmer, but obviously not all white. There's some color to it. If you're like a teacher, I feel like you have to have this for your classroom. The rainbow vibes is just everything. I love it. Yeah, very excited about that. Okay, another new one that I'm just like, wow, stunning. Emerald Waves, the mini. So this is another one that I think came in the home sales kit. And this was the one that was I was kind of like teetering on the edge. Like, I, I do like it. I don't know if I'll pick it up. And Maybe I won't, maybe I will eventually, but probably not right away, but it's beautiful. Um, it's like a green, kind of similar to like the Crimson Warmer, which I don't think is available anymore. Um, Moon over Jupiter, that warmer where it's like a swirled sort of paint, I guess. It says hand swirled paint right there on the screen. Love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the color green um, for like the fall time, fall winter because here in Washington at least we have obviously like evergreen trees everywhere and so there are green trees all year round um, which isn't always the case in other places because a lot of trees die in the fall and winter or they get red and orange and then they yeah have no leaves but we have all these evergreen trees so green to me is like a very like winter color I mean spring too spring and summer too with the grass and the beautiful you know fresh things as well okay so over here on the left we have actually three new warmers um these are called the mod warmers $25 each they have a sage color which to me looks more like turquoise or mint blue than it does sage green sage is usually like a greenish color um anyway black and then taupe um, so what I will say about these is to me, personally, they're not like the most beautiful or like aesthetically pleasing warmers, but will they perform well and will they, you know, be a good, like it says, introduction to Scentsy fragrances? Probably. I think the size of these, so it says four and a half inches tall, so it's about double the size of the Simply Diamond Warmer, which is tiny. Um, you can see that over on the right. That one kind of took the world by storm. But what's interesting to me, I guess because there's no like intricate design on it, these are only $25. So these are the same price as a mini warmer. So, you know, if you have someone in your life that is new to Scentsy and you don't want to get them, you know, something like... I don't know, the Verve warmer that we just looked at it, that's like $65. It's super expensive. You don't even know if they're going to really be into wax that much or into Scentsy. So your other options are like, okay, let me get them like, you know, a less expensive full size warmer or a mini warmer. You don't really have to, you know, price is not an object, I guess, in terms of whether or not you want to get them a full size warmer like this or a mini warmer, like plug in warmer. So yeah. That's kind of my overall thoughts about this. I'm curious, what I'm curious about is how good of a performer it is. Um, I don't know if I will pick it up for that reason alone. Uh, yeah, I think that it's a good introductory warmer to Scentsy. However, personally, I would rather pay the five more dollars for the Simply Diamond warmer because I like the look of it better. Yeah. It is very kind of like a nondescript sort of um, design. Like if you have this on your table, I don't know if I would necessarily know what it was. Like especially the black one, it's just all black. Like you can't really tell what it is. So I don't know. It's interesting. Definitely interesting. And then it also makes this little note about the new bestsellers three bar bundle. 
it's the same price as any other three bar bundle, but it just automatically bundles those together. Again, really great for if you are, you know, trying to introduce someone to Scentsy or they have been introduced, but they haven't tried out some of these, you know, really popular scents, which are Luna, Black Raspberry Vanilla, and Blueberry Cheesecake. So yeah, there's that group. Okay. Now on to scents. So today, actually, I should hopefully, as long as FedEx didn't lie to me about the delivery date, I should be getting like my first of the month order, which has all of the new release bars, has the Harvest Collection bars, um, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to get to do a sniff and share, hopefully in the next few hours and get that uploaded. But let's jump in to the scents. So there is something, I mean, Scentsy bars are going to be the normal $6, but you might overlook this if you didn't already know. Scentsy bricks, they are going to bring, this is the first time I've ever seen this, by the way. Um, <clears throat> they are bringing three bricks into the catalog. So Christmas Cottage, kind of a classic spicy, um, spicy, fruity, citrus kind of fragrance. Um, they are bringing pumpkin roll. Personally, I'm a pumpkin cinnamon swirl girl, but pumpkin roll is not bad. No, no, no shade to pumpkin roll. And then very snowy spruce. So I will not be picking up very snowy spruce. I'm not a super huge tree scent fan, but if you are, you can get a brick as soon as this catalog comes out, which is super exciting. Um, you don't have to wait until the Christmas bricks, which there will be at some point. Um, okay, let's just jump right in. So I'm going to talk about the new releases here. And then I'm going to just kind of skim over and mention things that I'm noticing. Again, I don't have like my full list of notes next to me, so I won't be able to pick out every single thing. But yeah, cranberry and cardamom. This is cherry, white cranberry and cardamom. I'm excited to smell this. I, I'm, I'm very, very curious seeing cherry in the notes. I love cherry, so this is probably going to be a pick up multiple of for me dashing i have seen a few consultants who've already had their hands on these mention really good things about this one so i'm curious to see what i think um it's vanilla creamy mahogany and fresh night skies Curi really curious to see if this is like sort of like a um mahogany vanilla vibe um which is a candle from bath and body works Fall feeling. This is blood orange, sugared cranberry, juniper sprigs, and sparkling clove. This has a lot going on. Um, yeah, very curious to see what I think about this one. That is in the fruity category. So yeah, I'm excited to see how much it is fruity and not spicy, or if there is a lot of that clove and how much of the juniper sprigs makes it like tree-esque. I'm, I'm cu really curious, obviously curious to smell all of these going to be kind of a um repetitive and keep saying that so frosted cedar this is red delicious apple white cedar and creamy vanilla I'm very excited about this I tend to really like like cedar scents and then of course anything with apple that just screams fall to me so can't complain there frosty air I don't know why I think it's funny that there's something called frosted cedar and then frosty air so there's two like frost scents I don't know that just was interesting to me. Um, citrus, Lily of the Valley, and Frosty Air. Very curious about that one. Lily of the Valley, what does something like that kind of have to do with, you know, the winter? Very, very curious to see what that one smells like. Forest Pine Needles, oh, sorry, on to the next. Golden Garland, Forest Pine Needles, Marigold Petals, Sparkling Orange Twist, and Golden Musk. Again, very curious. Sorry if you can hear the sirens in the background. I am going to actually run over there and close the window. So quick intermission. I'm not going to cut this video. This is a one take. So just give me two seconds. You can just read the screen. Okay, intermission is over. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
for some reason there is always something and I it's actually very nice weather today so I have the windows open and of course anytime I have the windows open and I'm filming a video there's like a trash truck or there's sirens or super noisy cars or whatever anyway golden garland very curious about this um it is in the fresh category but it has marigold petals which is floral and then it also has forest pine needles which is like kind of more woodsy or tree like so really curious about that one um yeah especially because it has i mean it has floral sparkling orange twist so floral and citrus and then frosty air also has citrus and floral so i don't know that like just based off that alone i might be more inclined to say that they're going to be kind of similar but i have no idea <laughs> i haven't smelled them so um make me snickerdoodle yeah excited about this brown sugar vanilla bean and sugared cinnamon i actually really love snickerdoodles um funny story second grade that was my um choice that I wanted that was the that was the treat of choice I decided to bring on my birthday in second grade so that's always what I think of when I see snickerdoodles or have snickerdoodles I love them midnight mahogany black plum cinnamon leaf and dark mahogany so there's the second item on this new releases that has mahogany in it so interesting there um it is in the woods category mahogany is is um usually very very woodsy almost like cologne woodsy so i'm very curious about how that one smells that one is one that i think connor is really going to like which oh my gosh i just realized the new releases will be here today i hope that i can talk connor into doing a first sniffs with me i might try to talk him into it oh my gosh okay anyway palo santo and cinnamon next one palo santo italian bergamot clove leaf and cinnamon bark i just am echoing everyone saying I sincerely hope that this is not their normal Palo blend because I do not like the Palo Santo bar from Sensi like at all I don't even know if I've ever warmed more than like two cubes of it at a time I, I can't do it it's not not a scent for me um okay red currant wreath red currant winter berries evergreen and sandalwood probably going to be um really just like a nice woody berry tree scent it's interesting to me though that this isn't the spice category it based on the notes I wouldn't necessarily think spice I would think like woods but they have a lot of other woods ones so we know that they did that this year with sugar blossom they're just like we don't have any bakery in the new releases let's throw sugar blossom in the bakery even though it's not a bakery so maybe that's what happened here i don't know we'll see okay back out to zooming out I'm just going to kind of take a little peek over here so one thing to note right off the bat candy cane buttercream that was in the vanilla bean buttercream Sensepirations collection and it is back um i really like that scent Connor is also a big fan of it, so I am not mad about that. Um, cinnamon pine cones, yay! I am so excited. I love, love cinnamon pine cones. That is like, I think that's one of the scents that if I had to say, like, what just smells like Christmas, like, it's a very, like, quintessential Christmas fragrance to me. So I'm very, very excited to see that. Um, Interesting that eucalyptus wreath is a bestseller. That seems sort of random. I'm so, so, so happy Silver Bells came back. Like I was, I was really concerned about it. And I kind of, I feel partially responsible for like sharing that concern. Cause there was a lot of people that also had that same concern. Not that I like influenced them to think that way, but I think there were like, we were kind of all hyping each other up in like a bad way and thinking that Silver Bells was not going to come back. I will never take a risk with Silver Bells. Silver Bells will be in my club at the end of every fall winter season, regardless of if I think it's going to go or if it's going to come back. Um, Apple and Cinnamon Sticks, Connor's excited to see that one back. He didn't really get into that until after fall winter, you know, had discontinued. And then he was like, I actually really like this. So we're excited to see that back. Um, Blackberry Spice, I do want to note that all of the new releases from last fall winter did make it back into the catalog. So that's a good 
good sign, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, what else on this page that I want to talk about? I don't think anything. Yeah, again, just weird that red currant wreath is in spice. We'll see when I smell it later. Apple cherry strudel made its way back into the catalog. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. I don't know why, but like apple cherry strudel in my mind is very vulnerable. Like at any second, I feel like it could just be, you know, bumped out. Um, Gimme Candy, that was September's scent of the month last year. Um, I am a fan of it. I will say that I actually just warmed it the other day and I get a really strong like butter note in it. Um, I'm assuming that it's the like butter, butter cream and maybe a little bit of like the caramel, obviously a key ingredient in caramel is butter. Um, so I feel like they, is it, is butter an ingredient in caramel? It is, yeah, caramel can be very buttery. I'm pretty sure. I'm feeling, now I'm feeling second guessing myself. So anyway, long story short is I like it, not mad about it coming into the catalog, but um, I would have liked to see graham cracker crunch stay instead of give me candy come out. That's my personal opinion. I know some people would disagree with that. So yeah, guess to cut to the chase, um, graham cracker crunch did not come back. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I do. And I, I will say I am one of those people that I fully agree that Scentsy, in my opinion, is specifically getting rid of or, or not keeping a ton of bakery, getting rid of bakery because they know that bakery fans are fans and they will put them in their club, period. I think that that's 100% true. Like, I, I, I think it's like a sales you know, tactic for Sensi. That's just my, my opinion. And I know people, you know, share that opinion. So, um, lemon drizzle cake. I don't know why that's still going to be in the catalog, but whatever. Mocha doodle sticking around. That is like a good redeeming quality of this group. I'm, I'm happy to see that. Um, salted caramel toffee came back, which is odd to me. I, I, yeah, it's not a bad scent, but you guys know how I feel about toffee butter crunch, which is in my club. That's my fave. So, um, scary good. I also like just disagree that it's a bakery scent. It's very spiced to me personally. Um, Arctic Kiss did come back. Happy to see that in here. Fluffy Fleece did come back, which I was not convinced. Um, I think that my whole sort of like thought process with Fluffy Fleece was that it had like huge hype. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, fluffy fleece. It's so unique. It's so interesting. And then there was like the bricks in the clearance section. I know I hauled a few bricks. I, I know a lot of people did. And so then I personally, I didn't even buy any bars of fluffy fleece. I don't think maybe one or two because I was trying to go through my bricks that I had stocked up on because I was like, we'll, we'll never see fluffy fleece back. Um, I like it. I do really enjoy that scent. So I'm not mad about it. French lavender, they just snuck right back in here. They're like, sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to take it away. Here you go. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, yeah, nothing else really to note here. Like I said, there's a few of the um, fresh scents from last year, the new releases that are back here. So Frosted Vanilla was a big one that everyone liked. White, Amber, and Silk, same there. Around the campfire, I'm happy to see back. Cashmere and Corduroy, happy to see back. Cedar Cider, happy to see back. That was kind of in the same boat as Silver Bells for me. I was like, eh, I don't know if it's going to come back. And then we kind of all were, yeah, joining together and thinking, oh, no, like, what if it doesn't come back? And, yeah, anyway. Um, I don't think anything else here to note, really. Everything else is pretty, like, standard. Autumn Road Trip came back. Caramel Apple Craze is listed as a bestseller. I do really enjoy that. Glad to see Scarlet Sunflower back and Snowberry. Again, sort of like French Lavender. They're like, sorry, sorry, sorry. We didn't mean to take that out. Here you go. Here's Snowberry. Um, yeah, Connor's excited about that one. He does like that scent. And that was one of those ones that um, I never put in my club. And then this last fall winter, we were like picking out stuff to warm and 
he was like, oh, we could warm this snowberry. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Just so you know, like I only have like four bars of it and those are my only four bars. I don't have it in my club and it got discontinued. And then of course he was like, oh no, like what if I really like it? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's back. So good for you, Connor. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> um, okay. Luna and Velvet Moon. Yeah. Blue Grotto, Coconut Lemon Lemongrass, Sips of Cider, Squeeze the Day. So they did leave squeeze the day in here um and sunkissed citrus which i think it was last fall winter that they took those out in the fall winter which was weird harry potter is still sticking around so hedwig the scentsy buddy hogwarts scentsy warmer one of my all-time favorite warmers i just think it's stunning um yeah not tons of updates there no change to this page i don't think i think it's exactly the same same here i'm pretty sure this is all the same as the spring summer catalog so little mermaid the disney princess um wall fan diffusers yeah all that fun stuff okay yeah so frankie the french bulldog over there on the left i think he's super cute <laughs> i love it um over on the right tex the t-rex and Le leoni the leopard Leoni the Leopard is pretty cute, and she sent it in Amazon Rain, so you guys know I'm I'm partial to anything Amazon Rain. Um, Milani the Mermaid and Summer the Sea Turtle, those were new in the summer catalog, so those are sticking around. Okay, new item alert! So over here on the top right, we have the tabletop fan diffusers, which at the beginning of this video, I accidentally called the mini fan diffuser a tabletop fan diffuser, but yeah. This is the tabletop fan diffuser. I am super intrigued about this for a few reasons. Number one, they're super, super cute. So it coming, it's coming in two different designs, Be Speckled and Dashing Denim. I am really curious about this for my car um, because it is a USB plug-in still, but you can fit two pods in there. Um, that is a big win to me because the, the mini ones, you can only put one pod in there. And it's not that I have a huge car or anything, but it would be nice to be able to use two pods in my car just for like scent purposes. But yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah, I will most likely be picking that up. Um, very, very, very excited about that. I personally like the Bee Speckled just a little bit more, but I do like the Dashing Denim. So that's probably what I would use mine for is in my car because it gives the two pod option. Um, and I just think it looks cuter than like the Sensi Go, but similar to the Sensi Go in that it holds two pods. I also think that if you have like a desk or even if you're like at your work place, you could put that on your desk there too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's talk about pods now. So new in pods, candy cane buttercream. Yes, I'm excited about that. Cinnamon pine cones, excited about that. I will probably be picking those up too. Crane apple crumble, falling apples, French lavender, frosted vanilla, pumpkin cinnamon swirl, silver bells, very excited about silver bells, and velvet moon. So this is super interesting to me that they are bringing, like they're really going heavy on the pods because now how many cents is this it says more than 40 um yeah available in more than 40 popular yeah there's a lot of pods to choose from um which is very cool i think that's awesome i think that's exciting so anyway there's the whole group there i will be going a little pod crazy probably um in a party closeout once the fall starts um cheetah mini fan diffuser over there on the left that came in was it the june whiff box maybe it was june may it could have even been july no i don't think it was july i think it was june uh it came in the whiff box and so everyone was like oh cool it's one of those you know limited time offers where you can only get it in the whiff box but here it is you can purchase it in the catalog okay nothing to note here all the diffusers so as per usual there's the premium diffuser those are like the really really beautiful ones and then there's the deluxe diffuser it has a larger water reservoir but like 
not necessarily as aesthetically pleasing. It's not like a piece of art like the premium diffusers are, but significantly less expensive as well. Um, oils, we have two new ones, three new ones. White peach and eucalyptus, white peach nectar, coconut eucalyptus, orange blossom and cashmere, jasmine, orange blossom, pedigrain and cashmere wool, mahogany and oak cinnamon bark patchouli rich mahogany and oak they are really going hard for the mahogany i guess that's like a lot of new stuff with mahogany glacier water is coming in the body care interesting um i just think that's a yeah a, an interesting if you guys don't remember glacier water was last august's scent of the month so this is an interesting new addition to body care in my opinion Laundry, again, interesting. Um, the white amber and teak scent is what they chose to bring out in laundry to the catalog. I Yeah, I'm not a super huge, like, white amber and teak fan. I do think Connor is going to want to try this. It is a very, like, masculine scent to me. So I think he is going to want to try that. So I might pick it up for him. Um, new Scentsy Freshes. Fiji flower and fluffy fleece. You guys know I'll be picking up a fluffy fleece for sure. Um, yeah, excited about that. <laughs> can't, can't, yeah, can't knock that. Um, clean, the new scent in clean is scarlet sunflower. I would have much rather see that be the new scent in body care than in clean. I, I think this is a body care scent, 110%. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it or want to, you know, warm or use it in um, cleaning supplies but that's just me. Everyone's different. Um, yep. Travel twist coming out in a new scent, weathered leather. I'm very, very curious to hear if you guys are into the travel twists. Um, I, I, I'm honestly very curious to know how those are doing like sales wise, because I have not had a single customer purchase a travel twist. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, okay. Fragrance flowers, new scents, autumn road trip. Interesting. Um, jammy time. Not so interesting. That's I, I, yeah, would have expected that. Um, they also didn't get rid of jammy time in the wax this year. I'm pretty sure. Bear with me as I scroll up because last fall winter they got rid of jammy time. Yeah. So they, they kept it probably again we're like sorry sorry didn't mean to do that here you go we can have it back <laughs> last fall winter they like swapped it with fluffy fleece so everyone was kind of like oh they're going to do fluffy fleece in the fall winter jammy time in the spring summer but clearly that's not the case um yeah autumn road trip and jammy time are the new scents for fragrance flowers party page so yes like in the next two weeks, I would start reaching out to your consultants and asking um, if you can do a party. If you are planning on spending more than $200 in an order, it's worth it to have a party because then you get some free product and half price items. Um, additionally, if you are someone that like maybe in the month of September, uh, you know, you're going to be placing multiple orders then you could just have a party link open or maybe there's some you know friends and family of yours that want some fall winter stuff to have a party link open and then you can just add your items there so yeah lots of goodies that you can get for free and half price okay yeah I think we're basically at the end so again overall I'm very excited about this catalog I think that it's a good it's a good group um, there are a few kind of like heartbreaks personally, none for me because, oh wait, you know what? Sorry. I'm don't look at the screen cause I'm moving things around. Um, hugging a mug did not come back. It, yeah. I'm very happy that I have it in my club. Um, mocha doodle. It seems like replaced that, I guess, but I think that's an odd choice. Mocha doodle is not really like as chocolatey really as a hug and a mug was. But anyway, sorry. What I was saying is I know that there are some heartbreaks from this catalog, this transition. 
I'm very excited to try out all of the new scents and yeah just in general very excited for this catalog but as with every season there are things that don't come back that are kind of a bummer um, for me it's like graham cracker crunch is really what I'm kind of like dang I I I would have, if I knew it was going to discontinue, I would have picked up a few extra just to have like kind of a back stock pile of them because I do like that scent and it's a fun mixer. So anyways, let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are about this catalog. I'd be very curious to know also with all of like the new warmers and even the new brand new items. I'm just, yeah, curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Like I said, I will be doing a lot more fall, winter ramp up kind of content in the next few weeks here. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.